There's a lot to say about the Happier Camper HC1, but before we get into what makes the HC1 so great, let's look into Happier Camper. Happier Camper is an American company based in Los Angeles with a dedicated team of support experts who offer guidance on how the HC1 functions and the multiple ways you can configure your HC1. Configure, you say? Yeah, absolutely. The Happier Camper HC1 is designed for you to rearrange the floor plan to suit your travel trailer needs for whatever adventure you have planned. That's what makes the HC1 so awesome. Let's check out the amazing interior versatility and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Once you step inside the HC1, it's easy to see that the adaptive interior is something special and the interior is highly customizable. Now, depending on the configuration that you make, you can sleep up to five people and reconfiguring the camper's layout is super easy. We'll get to the sleeping arrangements uh, here in just a few moments. And look, I know I keep saying rearrange and reconfigure. So let me step back and show you exactly what that means. Well, it's all about these cubes, lightweight, roto-molded plastic. Here, I'll grab one and pick it up. These cubes, called the adaptive system, are entirely modular, meaning nothing is permanently built in nor stationary. This means you can always change up the configuration on the fly and you're not stuck with one specific layout all the time. Pretty slick, right? Right. The cubes also double as storage. They can be stacked on top of each other and, as I've demonstrated, are very easy to move. As you can see, slide the tables in between the cubes. You can quickly set up the beds for a good night's rest. But let's look at the HC1's completely empty. And yes, the kitchenette is movable also. Then we'll see a few of the ways you can set up the HC1 for your planned camping adventures. Here's the HC1 completely empty. Now, you'll notice the HC1 has a 3x5 grid fiberglass floor, allowing for 42 square feet of walkable space, and it's walkable as the interior height is just over 6 feet. Grooves are embedded into the floor to hold the adaptive components in place, allowing for limitless layout customizations. Big words I know, especially coming from me, but would you just look at it? I see something like that and I say, would you just look at it? The grid system is how the adaptive system integrates into the camper. Simply rest the cubes in place anywhere on the grid to make your preferred layout. Then change it later in the day or later the next day, uh, however your needs change. Empty, you can simply make a very effective toy hauler out of the HC1 and even have room for a bed up front. As you can see, there are six D-ring tie-downs built into the frame to keep your motorcycle, dirt bikes, bicycles, or whatever very sturdy for the road trip. Want to make a bed? Let's make a queen-size bed. The cubes can go in and out of the main entry, but with this solidly built rear hatch, I think it's best to just do it from here. We'll just move some cubes in, slide the standard tabletops that come with the HC1, then drop the adaptive cushion in place, and voila! you have a bed for two. Oh, and I forgot the kitchenette, but it's no biggie. I'll just put that in via the entry door. Want to convert it into a space with a twin bed up front and a dining area in the back? Just watch. Check out how the table legs really lock into place. Make sure this little doodad thing here is out. Guide it into the slot in the floor, twist, and boom, now you're locked in. Now we have it all set with a twin bed up front, dining in the back that's easily converted into a double bed, and the movable kitchenette is on the wall opposite the entry door. How quick was that, right? Pretty quick. Now let's take a deeper look at the kitchenette. You'll see it has a stainless steel sink, a movable faucet that can lay flat so it can be covered by the tempered glass top. You also get a pair of swing out countertop extensions on the side. You'll see when we open the front where the water reservoir sits. You can also get one of those handy dandy storage pouches for tools right on the inside. Now, under the sink sits the cooler, a mini fridge of sorts that plugs into the 12.5 volt outlet. Holds more than you might think as well. Now, speaking of plugging in, here's where both the sink and the cooler plugs in. Again, the cooler is a simple 12.5 volt outlet. The water, fresh and gray, simply hooks right into here. 
And on the outside of the HC1, you'll find the quick hookup to the city water. I mean, I love the ease of this thing. I kind of glossed over the cushions, so let me give you some deets on those right now. Whether you're getting a good night's sleep or lounging in your camper, these adaptive cushions will keep you comfortable because they're memory foam cushions. They're wrapped in UV protected sunbrella fabric, so you can use them indoors or out. Don't even have to worry about it. Now, you can look at this setup on a typical one. You say, oh, this will probably sleep three. True but you can adapt the system to make a mega bed and a plus one to sleep for. You can even get a package with a bunk bed. What? Yep, then you'll be able to sleep five. Oh look, a second storage pouch is right here on the inside of the entry door. I'd put items that you needed to hurry uh, to grab that you don't want to go digging for, like maybe water bottles, sunscreen, that type of stuff, maybe your Pez dispensers, because you never know when you might need them. Uh, other places for storage, these upper compartments with the easy slide opening. Put your clothes here, board games, books, and more, and you got them on both sides. Now, I can see your brain is spinning because it's a lot, but I have that ability, you know, because look at me. What happens when this thing gets dirty? Well, after all, it's camping, and there's no such thing as a successful camping trip that doesn't have dirt involved somehow, especially if you take the kids and the dogs. I'd say cats too, but if a cat gets dirty, it's purely on accident, plus good luck trying to wash it. The interior floor is all fiberglass. Simply remove all the adaptive cubes, cushions, etc., and you can quickly hose out your HC1. The water is removed via a drain in the front of the HC1, which is right here. Now, would you just look at it? I gotta say it again, look at it. Super functional and convenient. Also, the cushions, the sunbrella fabric can simply be tossed into your washing machine. And a pro tip, line dry your sunbrella cushion covers and steam them to get any wrinkles out. Now let's head outside and check out the Happier Camper HC1 exterior. First off, look at that shine. The HC1's exterior and interior fiberglass hulls are buffed smooth and coated in gel coat to a lustrous and very durable shine. And just look at these colors. The HC1 is offered to you via Camping World, comes in a few different colors, including the ones I have behind me. You got the Topanga Turquoise, the Mojave Sage, and the Mammoth White. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now, as far as exterior features, let's take a walk around and scope them out. Each HC1 is equipped with a folding tongue. This makes it very convenient to store your travel trailer in your garage or driveway. After all, it does fit in a single parking space. Plus, the bonus of a folding tongue is if you're a klutz like me, well, it kind of helps you avoid cracking your knees while walking around it. You know what I'm talking about. Look what else is on the tongue. A leveling bubble. May not seem like much, but it certainly helps you as you're leveling it in any campsite. Now, despite how light it is, 1,100 pounds unloaded, so easily towed by any SUV, truck, and a lot of cars, it's comforting to know you do get electronic brakes and emergency breakaway cables. The electric brakes work if you have a brake controller installed. Always try to get one of those put on on any RV. Additionally, a brake controller will help prevent wear and tear on the vehicle, but because of the HC1's lightweight design, it is absolutely not necessary to install. I like to get one anyway. If a brake controller is installed, just be sure to turn it all the way to the lowest setting. Now, moving on from brakes, sorry, I'm gonna come to the entry door. Look at those retro style solid hinges, so nice. And the window, it's called a porthole window and has a fancy way of opening and closing. Look down, we have the pullout step. Makes it easier to enter your HC1, but look how nice it is. No sharp corners, no metal edges to catch a shoe, a sock, or worse, your skin. Pro tip though, try not to go barefoot in any campground. Just throwing that out there. Don't wanna walk past the tires on this beauty either. There are two packages. You got the Touring Package, which has 13 inch radial tires, and the Adventure Package that comes with 14 inch all-terrain tires, and a lift package for higher clearance if you're planning on heading off-road or just want to go deeper into the woods. Turning the corner, we come to the rear hatch. The rear hatch allows you to enjoy your campsite more thoroughly and makes it easy to load up for a trip or haul that motorcycle. Another pro tip, remember to load heavy at the front of your camper to avoid fishtailing while towing. 
onto the off-camp side and you'll see your hookups for the city water, 30 amp power, and more. Options? Well, yeah, the HC1 has a few because again, it is very adaptable. If you want additional components, like more cubes, or you like want to make the entire interior a ginormous bed, you absolutely can. Just order more of the adaptive cubes through us at Camping World. Want a dry toilet? It's available right here at Camping World. Interested in an awning? You have two options. You got the suspension awning or a crank out awning available for installation as well. Would you like additional solar? You can also get that, guess what, from us right here at Camping World. I talked a lot about the amazing adaptability of the Happier Camper HC1, as well as the fabulous features. Now let's talk construction. A Happier Camper HC1 isn't built just to last camping season after season. It's built to last for generations. I can see that if properly stored and maintained, someone could easily say, oh, that, that's great grandfather Chris's travel trailer. Man, he'd be out forever in that thing. Come home, clean it up, shine it up, and it'd be as fresh as a daisy again for another trip. Now, Chris, he's not as fresh as a daisy anymore. He's pushing them up, but the camper still is fresh. But seriously though, let's talk about the HC1's materials. The dual hull fiberglass shell is incredibly strong, yet lightweight. This high quality material is very easy to maintain, repair, and is longer lasting than many other materials you see travel trailers often made from. That means you won't experience any rot, rust, or mold as your trailer ages over time. And to restate, the HC1's exterior and interior hull are buffed smooth and coated in gel coat, which is different than paint and known for its lustrous, beautiful shine. By waxing or storing the camper away from the sun's rays, your HC1 will look brand new for years to come. So, what have we learned about the Happier Camper HC1? First, adaptability. With the modular adaptive cube system, you can configure your HC1 for whatever planned adventure you want to go on. Second, durability. This beauty has potential to last for generations, as it certainly is built to last for generations. Third, Camping World has them. To find the Happier Camper HC1 of your dreams, head to CampingWorld.com and just type Happier Camper into the search bar. 